Warning, the following material may have content not fit for all viewers. Music, topics, and other items may not fit into your criteria of appropriate. If this concerns you, please leave now. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy the fucking show. Hey there, folks. All right. Bam. Today, going to do a quick, uh, kind of a more of a technical video. Yeah, I know. Blackhawks doing a technical video, right? Crazy shit. So, um, I've got a couple old parts here, but I just want to go over if your VTX, if you have one of the UFL, I think that's what these are. Yeah, UFL. I'm pretty sure that's what these connectors are called. I don't know if you guys can see that there or not. Where are you at? There it is. Bam. Oh, come on, phone focus. Well, some of bitches don't want to focus, but basically one of these little connectors um, that go onto your VTX and clip on, usually right there on the little peg. Um, if this pad pulls off of your VTX, don't throw your VTX away. You might still be able to save it. Um, underneath of said pad, if you pull it all the way off, are these uh, solder pads. And you've got one here, one here, and one there in the middle, a little circle guy. And on the back you have the same thing. These outer pads here, uh, sometimes they'll be connected, they'll be bridged, uh, just a little piece of um, brass right there at the top, or copper, whatever it may be. Uh, but sometimes they'll be bridged, not a big deal. This is your neutral, this is your grounding. Um, so this is your neutral. Uh, pads, like I said, doesn't matter. Sometimes they will be bridged. You can bridge them if you want. It doesn't really make a difference normally. Um, the one in the middle here, this little, uh, this little round guy, that is going to be your actual signal. That's going to be your uh, main, um, whatever, if you want to call it, call it a positive. Um, you know, that's that's what that is right there. So. Those are going to be your two solder points. Now it's the same thing on, uh, you know, standard. If you have your threads uh, directly on this, v like on this VTX here, uh, you have your threaded uh, SMA or PSMA directly on there. Same thing. You have the two outers here, which are your ground, your uh, neutrals, and then you have the uh, the signal in the center there. And you can see this peg here, which goes all the way down through connects to that center uh, that center solder the center solder joint block can't fucking talk today guys my bad um, but yeah so same thing here like this one I think yeah there's a little bit of a crack here in the solder um, and even if this were to uh, break completely off if you still have everything else intact there's no damage to anything else you can still use the VTX so don't fret um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, first things first, you want to get a whip or an extension, um, a pigtail, whatever the hell you want to call it. And obviously, you have this nice little connector on there, that new one, and you're not going to be able to use that. So, uh, I'm not going to cut it all the way down there because I'm going to need to use this later. But for time being, cut that off and. If you have a set of, if you have some some good th uh, nails, you can kind of get it off with your thumbnails. If you've got a real nice set of wire strippers, you can use that. But you basically, underneath this black coating, is wire, obviously. <laughs> um, but no, you just want to get uh, some of this insulation off of there. All right. Let's see if I can get a little more off of there. Thumbnail really is the best way to do it. All right, there we go. Okay, so now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's two different things here. You've got a center, a core, which is this right here. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but this core that's in there, it has a clear insulation around it and another wire. And then on the outside of this core is loosely wound wire. That's, uh, you can see kind of out right there. You just want to push that down and scrunch it up and ball it up. That is going to turn into your uh, neutral. 
and I don't know if you guys can see that or not right there so basically the first layer as soon as you get through this outer black insulation the first layer is going to be wire and that's going to enclose this core right here and you scrunch that all down into a ball see if I can do this real quick without burning the mat and just like you were anything else it helps if you get on there you want to throw a little bit of solder on there just like you were any other wire okay so now I've got my solder ball right there and that is all the wire that I scrunched down that was around this core that's now my neutral and you want to be very careful but inside of this core like I said this is an insulated wire here so you have your insulation it's clear and inside of that you have BAM another wire so I probably just stripped it back a little far there I don't know if uh, that's gonna give us a uh, clean enough uh, distinction between our signal and our neutral but either way if it didn't I'd cut it a little bit further back and start over uh, not a big deal it was just where I had uh, gotten my thumbnail down a little bit too far and actually already cut that uh, that sheathing that insulation that's around that core wire so not a big deal we'll still try it out anyways um, because this is just a demo and the VTX doesn't really work anyway so I'm not really gonna be able to test it too much this is just kind of an explanation and a demo so you go ahead and tin the tip of that just like that and then you go ahead and tin up your pads. All right. Not really sure which one I want to use here. I want to use the left or the right. And then go ahead. Now, one thing to be careful of, and this one does have it, so I'm going to go actually on the back side of this. But here's a very, 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 very small resistor right there connected to that pad on the front side there so on the back you can see uh, I hope you can see maybe <laughs> um, that resistor isn't there it's just the hole it's just uh, your or your connection point so I'm actually going to go on the back of this which is where I had it soldered up previously anyways so um, that's already tinned already ready to go this back side is already taken care of from previously so all that's left to do and you guys can do it however you want if you want to do the middle first and then do the outside that's fine I like to do the outside first that gives it more of a secure uh, connection point and then you can work the inside the core wire to your pad uh, from there but I basically I'll connect the outer boom connect the neutral now we've got a nice little solder joint there and you can see that the core wire well, again, I hope you can see where my little pointer go. There it is. I hope you can see. Now the core wire is setting perfectly right there on that center pad uh, for that signal, for that uh, that uh, positive. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, throw a little bit of heat there because it's already lined up perfectly. And bam. Just like that. So there... Is your fixed VTX now you can throw a little bit and I mean you can set this up however you want if you want this uh, you know facing inwards to where this isn't coming out of the side of this tab like that and coming straight out of the top you can do obviously this was just a demonstration but um, you're good to go you know throw your heat shrink on the top of there uh, your hot glue and uh, you know get your forever connection on there and you know you're set so thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed hope you learned something with uh, how to repair possibly a broken ufl connector again i think it's a damn ufl connector i could be calling it the wrong thing i have a habit of doing that but i uh, hope you learned how something today and hope it helps somebody out there fix one of these bad boys so take care and catch you next time Man's.